My name is John Leslie, and I'm here to talk about the Raystown Dam Divers. We are a group of friends who got together uh, starting in 2019 and uh, started diving the old powerhouse that has been flooded in the new lake. We started diving the dam. Four of us went down and tried to navigate. We all, we all saw the exact same thing, but we spent two hours afterwards arguing about we just, what we just saw and we realized we needed to know what's down there, so we started mapping out things, uh, building models to get an idea of where to go, what to see. We realized there's a lot of stories that we didn't understand, and we started pulling more information together and doing research to uh, get the whole story. No one has really done a lot of research on the, the old powerhouse since the internet came around. We reached out and found a lot of obscure things that hadn't been put into the current books about the area and really just to piece together how that world worked and what the old lake life was like. There's a few individuals who have a large collections of old pictures and photos. We'd kill to see some video from uh, before the old dam was flooded in 72. Diving conditions there are pretty grueling. Everything we do starts at about 120 there. The deepest is about 160 feet below the surface. Average temperature is about 40 degrees year round. Visibility ranges anywhere from two to 15 feet. We like to compare it to walking around in the backyard with just a, a cigarette lighter trying to navigate. So if you want to get around, you really have to, you know, put it all together in your head, you know, one small piece at a time. We get asked a lot, do we see fish uh, of any sort, and the answer is pretty much no. Um, we see little ones at the surface. Every once in a while, when you're down deep and dark, you'll see like this kind of shadow off in the distance that maybe might have been a fish. Um, they're scared of our bubbles. They come nowhere near us, and I mean, they may be close to us, but if they're more than 15, 10 feet away, we can't see them anyway. Raystown Lake is actually one of my favorite places to be. The feeling of being on the lake with, without houses around and any commercial, it's, it's so quiet and everywhere you go, there's, a, there's always a quiet corner to find. It's just beautiful year round. It's an amazing place. It's got so much history in the area, a lot of it underwater now, um, that it, it keeps us fascinated.